Hey, so this is a video tutorial on how to add custom songs to my mod. So imagine you're playing my mod and you eventually get bored of all these songs. So you want to add your own and I totally get that. So it's actually pretty easy. Uh, first thing, you're going to want to have a song in mind. So this is what we'll be using. You all know how that goes. So you want to take that and move it to the mod folder. Then you're going to want to find an icon. So this is the big sprite sheet that Cookie Clicker uses. So I'll link this in the description. Then you're going to want to find one of these that will be used for the song selector. So I already have one in mind. It's this cat, money cat. So I already know the coordinates, but you start from zero, zero is the top left. And then you go one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and this is 31. And then you want to do the same for the Y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 31, 8. Remember those numbers or whatever you have. And then here's where everything's going to be. You're going to want to edit main.js. I'm going to use Notepad++. You can use anything like Notepad. There. And then step one, you want to copy this line of code, paste it right there. And then change file name to the file name of your mp3, in this case, weshop.mp3. And then change song name to whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna use shop. This is what the game's code will recognize as the mp3 file. So this basically loads the song into the game. And then step two, you wanna copy this line of code, put it there, and then this is what will actually appear in the game. So let's make this we shop shoot, theme and then here's where those coordinates are going to come into play you can do 31 for the x coordinate and 8 for the y uh, or whatever you have uh, and then number three this is the last step you want to add these two lines of code get rid of those slashes and then if you're adding multiple songs then you're going to want to have them sequentially you know it's one two three four five six you'd add seven eight nine however many songs so uh, but if you're only adding one, then six. And then this is where that variable that you made earlier is going to come into play. In this case, it was shop, because you can see right here, we defined that earlier. So basically, when you click the button, it's going to play the song. This is what that means. And then you just want to save it and restart the game. It should work. Now... There you go. Now, unfortunately, uh, I wouldn't call it a glitch, but it's more of just an unfixable thing. Uh, if the game changes music, it's not gonna, it, like it's gonna override whatever music is playing. It doesn't care about what music is currently playing. It just changes it. Uh, but it's really not that big of a deal. You can just click the song again and it'll play. Um, so yeah. Also, unfortunately, you can't do custom icons for like the list of stuff. Uh, I don't know why uh, like it, it works for the shop like it, it works for the store section and like everything in here you can use custom icons for but you can't do them in the actual switch menus so I don't know why but that's really it thanks for watching